Jesus, reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now when we are, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. Christ was begging them when he was here. And now Paul is begging them in his place. Amen. We pray you in Christ's stead. Since Christ is not here. Amen. We have uh, become an instrument and Christ is reaching through us to you. And that's difficult sometimes to uh, get people to believe. Uh, we pray you in Christ that be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We then, as workers together with him, in vital participation in the grand plan of, of Christ. Christ said, on this rock I will build my church. Hallelujah. Well, he's doing that tonight. And he's got a whole bunch of uh, engineers working under him. Amen. He's got a whole bunch of job foremans and... Uh, uh, overseers working under him. And so uh, we with Christ become workers together with him and beseech you that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. <clears throat> For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accept accepted. And in the day of salvation, I have succored thee. That word succored means helped. Right. Amen. Supported. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now right. is. Now. Let's say it together. Now. Say it again. Now. Who? When is the accepted time? Now. Hallelujah. This is it, folks. This is the accepted time. Hallelujah. Oh, let me touch the hem of his garment. As Jesus passes by, let me feel the thrill of his presence and know that he is mine. Let me hear the voice of the Savior in tones sweet and low. Bidding me come and drink at the fountain where healing waters flow. Oh, let me touch the hem of his garment as Jesus passes on. Don't let me miss this day of salvation. The time will soon be gone. Let me hear the voice of the Savior in tones sweet and low. Bidding me come and drink at the fountain where healing waters flow. You ever heard that song? It came right from Cincinnati, Ohio. Amen. I heard it years ago. Amen, brother. Croucher back there, he can tell you who wrote it. He, he knows who wrote it. Amen. Yes, let me touch the hem of his garment as Jesus 
Uh, when I first heard that song, I never dreamed I'd ever be in Cincinnati. I didn't even know how to find it. Amen. I first heard that song, I didn't know if I'd ever, 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 ever see the people where that came from. Amen. When I first heard Claude Ely, I called him Brother Claude Eli. That's what they called him down at Newport, Kentucky, at the Gospel Stage. They called him Brother Claude Eli. I thought he was a black man singing, Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Amen. And uh, I came to Hamilton, Ohio, 40 years ago and held a revival, preached four weeks. Uh, amen. Had some 45 RPMs of Claude Eli. And the uh, uh, pastor said, I know him. He's a friend of mine. That's Brother Claude Ely. <laughs> amen. It wasn't Brother Claude Eli at all. It was Brother Claude Ely. Praise God. Number one song when I was here 40 years ago was Little David, Play on Your Heart. Amen. They're saying it everywhere. Every church you went into, every revival you went into, Little David, Play on Your Heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Little David, Play on Your Heart. Hallelujah. But I heard that song. Amen. Long about that time, let me touch the hem of his garment while Jesus passes on. Don't let me miss this day of salvation. The time will soon be gone. Amen. Now is accepted time. Let's say it again. Now. Amen. Right now. Now this is it. Now. Amen. Is accepted time. Behold, now. Say it with me. Now, say it again, now is the day of salvation. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. We don't have to look back and say, oh, I wish I was back there. We don't have to look ahead and say, oh, if I could be up yonder someplace. Amen. It's now. It's right now. This is our year and now. Amen. Sister Hutchins, now is over. Ours will soon be gone. Amen. But we've got it now. How about it? Praise God. Where are you right now? What are you doing right now? <laughs> Amen. He said, because now is the day of salvation, and because now is accepted time, and because we are laborers together with Christ, and we are ambassadors of Christ, and it is so important this time accepted, this day of salvation, that he's helping us. God, think of it, has succored us or is helping us now. Right, right now. God has been helping Brother Ray Asher. Right now! Yes. Hallelujah. God's been helping L.L. L. Collins right now. Hallelujah. God has been helping Sister uh, 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 Ruth Charles right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now. Now God is helping the the Hutchins family. Now, praise God, he's helping uh, Sister uh, uh, Lois Sailor. Now, the Lord is helping Sister Anna May, praise God. Now, he's helping. Now, he's answering prayer. Now, he's giving us these wonderful privileges and wonderful open doors, praise God, open doors of prayer, open doors of opportunity. Open doors of revival. Hallelujah. Open doors of revival interest. Now, if everybody could just see it. If everybody could just see how important now is in the highway of holiness, we wouldn't be having church with half the force. Amen. In church. Huh? If everybody could see the importance of right now, amen, there wouldn't be half of us in church and half of us chasing our own rabbit. If we could see the importance 
of right now. Amen. Everybody's chasing his own rabbit. Everybody's doing his own thing. Everybody's taking out. I'm going to do what I want to do. Amen. I don't think you ought to go to church all the time. Hey, now's the day. Now's the hour. Now's the time. This is the accepted time. Ooh, hallelujah. This is the good old days we'll be talking about 15 years from now. I was looking at some pictures, not too old. The other day I thought, boy, to be back there again. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Amen. Brother and Sister Shaw sent us some uh, 30-year-old pictures that they took down at Barville, Kentucky. Amen. And uh, we liked them so good. Looking back on the yesterday, we sent them out for Christmas last year. Amen. That's the before. Amen. This is the after. <laughs> Amen. Oh, how I like to go back. Amen. It's amazing how much we can see that made us happy, how much we can see that was a wonderful, uh, marvelous, and glorious time. <clears throat> but looking back, hindsight, they call it. Amen. Oh, praise God. We can't go back, but one thing we can do is do our best right now. Right. Amen. We can charge this moment with the love of God. We can charge this moment with divine effort. I say divine effort. Amen. Yes, sir, we can get in tune with heaven and work with Jesus for the saving of souls. We can work with God. We can work together and together work with God. And all of us and God and Christ and the Holy Ghost work together and everything work together for good to them that love the Lord and are the call according to his purpose. Praise God. And since now is so important, he said, <clears throat> giving no offense in anything that the minister be not blamed. Don't so live. Don't Conduct yourself in such a manner as people will say, look at old so-and-so. If he goes to heaven, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the same place he goes. I've heard people say that about good Christians. Amen. Oh, God. And they're all gone. Amazing thing about it is they didn't realize their opportunity. They didn't realize how wonderful time it was back at Old Field Creek Church. And the woman that said, that's dead now, and the one she said about it about is dead now. I said, oh, if he wants to go. Said about old Brother Brian Price. Brother Brian Price was a fellow I'd watch when he changed the chords, and I'd know when to change, playing the guitar. My Sears and Roebuck guitar. Amen. In Old Field Creek Church, praise God. And I'd watch Brian change, wing, 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 wing. Amen. I changed a little late, but I hanged away, Brother Croucher. Praise God. I did most of my practice in church, and I still do most of my practice in church. There's nothing like now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God to get something done for God. Brother Brian Price and Sister O is gone. Amen. The boy that never would get saved, he's gone. One day the school bus driver drove by in the morning real early, and the house was burned down, and Brian and Ole and their son all was burned in the fire. Amen. Now had passed for that dear old lay preacher. Amen. I've heard him make fun of his testimony. He testified every time we went to church back home. Brother Brian, he had testified about 15 minutes. And uh, I heard good folks say he says the same thing every time. Amen. That's all right. Say the same thing every time if you have to. You're now will soon be gone. Amen. Yeah, he'd testify longer about it than anybody. Amen. Say the same thing every time. Amen. Oh, Brother Sam Griffith closed his like he heard everybody else closing their uh, uh, <coughs> testimony. It was either pray for me that I'll go all the way. Once in a great while, you'd have someone say, pray for me when it goes well with you. You ever hear country folks testify like that? Pray for me when it goes well with you. 
And then once in a while, they'd close their prayer on their testimony with these words. Pray for my unsaved loved ones. And sit down. Amen. One day Sam got it mixed up. That was the night he was struck on that young girl. Sam didn't have quite a full load. Everybody knew it, but he came to church, did his best for God. He cooked for himself, took care of himself. Amen. Sam was quite old, but he'd fallen in love with some of the young girls once in a while in church. And uh, my brother was going to the same one, and, and uh, the one he liked, and he walked up to him and, and shook his finger in his face when he came out of the prayer room and said, when that girl comes in, don't you set yourself down by her. Sam was childish. Amen. That night he got up and testified and he got it mixed up. He said, instead of, instead of saying, pray for my unsaved lovers, he said, pray for my unloved saved ones. Brother Floyd Lindsay figured that Carl was his unloved saved one that he was talking about. Amen. If you say the same thing every time, go ahead. Amen. Your now will soon be over. Amen. Amazing thing, I hauled Ralph and Sam both to church. Amen. Sam walked on crutches and he was deformed and Sam thought Ralph was off. And, uh, and Sam was, sure enough, a, a few bricks shy of full load. And, and uh, when I would get Ralph by himself talking about Sam, Sam, Ralph thought Sam was off. Either one of them by themselves, you know, thought the other was off. But they both went to church. Both of them's day of salvation has passed. Their here and now is gone. Amen. Those dear old men that I hauled to church in those early days in my ministry. Amen. I wish I could go back. Pick them up again in the Ford and take them to the house of God. Amen. I wish I could call back the years. Would I do any better with the now I had then than I'm doing with the now I've got now? Amen. Now is accepted time. Give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Amen. That says, be careful. Other folks are watching. Amen. Seventeen years old, I took Midway Pentecost Church pastor. Pastored only a year and nine months. I'll admit it was poor. I'll admit that it was a grace of God that got me through a year and nine months. Amen. But I didn't even have one date that whole year and nine months. Because I didn't want folks to talk. Amen. My life belonged to Jesus. Oh, folks would only have convictions and be careful. They'd miss a whole lot of pitfalls. Amen. Give me no offense in anything. Why? Because now is accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. But in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of God, in much patience, in affliction, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fasting. Paul, I don't see how you keep going. All those afflictions, all those necessities, all those distresses, all those stripes, that means beatings, folks. All those imprisonments, all those tumults. All those labors and watchings, and that means sleepless nights, those watching. When you kept awake all night. In fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love, unfeigned. How do you do it, Paul? Go through all of it and still. Amen. Keep your pureness, your knowledge, your long suffering, your kindness your Holy Ghost, and your unpretended love. Real love, folks. He had real love. He wasn't just smiling like a movie star. 
He learned to smile at everybody, you know. He wasn't smiling like Miss America on parade, showing his teeth like a Cheshire cat. He had a real life. Right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. By word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness, on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report. How do you keep going, Paul, when everybody's talking about you? Because today is the only day I've got. Now is the only time I've got. And they go as the hot men say, i got to keep going. Till I've fought my good fight. Till I've finished my course. <laughs> Glory to God. Till I've kept the faith right down to the wire. Amen. And they wave the checkered flag. Amen. And announce the winner. This is the only time I've got right. to run. And so I've got to keep going. No matter what anybody says. Amen. If you stop because of what anybody says, whether they're bragging on you or whether they're talking about you, amen, you can't afford to stop. The story goes of the frog that wanted to get down south, but he couldn't. Amen. It was too far. And so he found two geese that were friends of his, and he gave them both one end of a string, and he said, if you just uh, take this string south as you go, amen, it would do me a great favor. And he grabbed the hole in the middle of it with his mouth. And as those two big geese were airborne, amen, they was carrying the frog south with them. Amen. Airborne. He was doing all right until somebody saw it. They looked up and saw that string in the mouth of both those geese and that frog hanging on and fly, hitching a ride south with them. And they said, who in the world invented that? And the frog opened his mouth to say, I did. And they picked him up off the ground. Amen. A big pile of jelly. Because he couldn't keep his mouth shut. Huh? Amen. You know, all he got out was I. Down he went. Amen. Oh, yeah. That one letter in the middle. You can't even spell sin if you leave the I out. <laughs> Amen. Oh, glory to God. You can't pay no attention to folks bragging on you. You can't pay no attention to folks talking about you. We got to go on. This is our time. This is our hour. Amen. By honor, dishonor, by evil report, good report, as deceivers, yet true. I know I'm not a deceiver. So I must go on. As unknown, yet well known. <coughs> as dying, and behold, we live. As chastened, and not killed. As sorrowful, yet all way. Rejoicing, I don't see how you do it. Paul, I've got to. I've got to. Amen. As sorrowful yet always rejoicing. As poor yet making many rich. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. As having nothing yet possessing all things. Oh, ye Corinthians. Our mouth is open unto you. Our heart is enlarged. We have opened up to receive you and tell you in Christ's stead, this is your day of salvation. And we're here with enlarged heart, with the real love of God to take you in. Amen. But you're not straightened in us. But you're straightened in your own bowels, our emotions, our feelings. Huh? Who? <clears throat> for now, for recompense in the same I speak as unto my children, be ye enlarged. I, speaking in Christ's stead, have opened up the door to take you in. 
but you're holding back. There's a bunch of you seeking proof that Christ is speaking through me. Amen. Oh, what good is the time wasted in having proof when a man of God's telling you the truth? Truth is all the proof you need. Amen. What else do you need? A man pouring out his life. Amen. By necessities, beatings, imprisonments, tumults, want. Amen. Pain, fastings, all night. Amen. Without sleep. Praise God. That ought to say something, shouldn't it? That I care. Listen, folks. Folks that love their own self. Amen. Folks that don't care anything about anybody except their own self, they're not going to make much of a sacrifice. Amen. They're not going to make much of a sacrifice. No. Amen. It'd be like one preacher friend of mine held a rival. Amen. For a fellow over in, in uh, uh, near Branson, Missouri, Cedar Valley. Amen. Held a revival for him. The pastor didn't even come to revival. For the whole duration of the revival, he's building in a boat, getting ready to take his vacation. Amen. And Brother David Shelton preached him a revival. Cal didn't even come. Amen. Cal backslid later on. Tell you something. Amen. He is already backslid. He is well on the way out. Amen. Amen. No wonder. He left his wife. No wonder, amen, took up with a young girl. No wonder, amen, lost out with God. When the flesh takes over, anything can happen. Amen. When you lose the Spirit of God and you lose your sense of destiny and lose the sense of now is accepted time, now is the day of salvation, praise God. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship a righteous with an unrighteous what communion hath light with darkness amazing thing. Folks will reject the holiness preacher and tie in with anything. They'll reject the man of God without very much excuse. Amen. And run with about anything you can think of. Amen. They'll reject the man of God and quit coming to church. Amen. Blame him. Amen. Somebody told me about him being down to the Butler County Fair. Amen. At the country music part of it, uh, dancing up a storm. Amen. Right out of the highway of Holiness Church. Living it up. Amen. Couldn't fellowship with L.L. But they'd be unequally yoked together as unbelievers. Amen. Couldn't dance no more. Amen. With the highway of holiness folks, but they could, amen, dance a jig with the world and the flesh. Be not unequally yoked together. Why? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? What communion hath light with darkness? What concord hath Christ with the law? What part is he that believe with the infidel? What agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of God. And God has said, I'll dwell in them, I'll walk in them, and I'll be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. I'll be a father unto you. Ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty, and I'll reach through you to show my salvation to the here and now in your life. 